is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update on this last day of the week, Friday the 25th of March. Dow is up 85 at 34,792. It needs to climb above the, uh, that was the 34,882.03 level that was made uh, four days ago to start one penny above Stars leg D, I'm anticipating we do get there. It's been a bit of a struggle the last few days in terms of really interesting action as the 200 period moving average became support. And that is at 34,000, let's call it 34,400. And here we are 400 points higher. That's a good sign. We're looking at the S&P uh, trading right now. Not as much as the Dow, up only 4.47, uh, just 0.1%. Uh, 45.24. Now, this is very interesting because this little pop-up today has actually got it to that leg D. Remember the chap wave methodology? A buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode says you should go to at least a leg D. And here we are in leg D already in the S&P. QQQ has only made a leg C to the upside. In fact, it's continued in this leg C and, uh, sorry, leg A, and it's stopping right at the 200 period moving average, having a little bit of trouble down $1.39 at 358. By early next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, really needs to be traveling into the 362 area or higher. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, small caps just stuck in the range. Lowercase h goes to this lowercase m. In a rectangle formation, it's actually making the third H pattern, and it's down 43 cents <clears throat> at 205. Gold. Uh, gold is trading down 13 Fridays. <laughs> you often see a pullback on a Friday. Uh, 1948. Uh, it's actually moved up quite nicely, but it's basically in a digestive phase, and it's a spectacular move up, and it's just digesting huge gains. This is going to be interesting because you're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is down uh, at 110. Any times it starts to trade in the 106s or lower, it's in a bigger digestive phase. Most importantly, and we'll be looking at that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, we're looking at bonds. The TLT is down again with those yields going up at 128.88. Starts to trade in the 127s. That, that's another kettle of fish done. I'll be back for the show.